Okay, hello and welcome into my YouTube channel, Peak Sports. Um, I'm Weston, and uh, here we're just going to be talking about everything sports related, um, doing reviews, um, covering the latest news, and just hopefully having a lot of fun. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the best and the worst of the new NFL helmets that have been released recently. Um, what I'm going to do is go over the five worst that are in my opinion um, and then go over the five best um, if you guys have any <laughs> different opinions I know this is probably gonna be controversial um, but uh, yeah comment down below if you have a different opinion and uh, we can talk about it so let's get into it we'll start out with the worst um, first one on the list Carolina Panthers now, honestly, I don't hate this one. Um, you'll see in the list, I'm not a big fan of the black helmets, um, all black. But with this one specifically, I think it works a little bit better than others just because the Carolina Panther is already black. It kind of gives it a stealthy look to it. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I just feel like it's missing something. I feel like they could have been a little bit more creative than being a newer franchise, not having so much history to stick to. Um, they probably could have, I don't know, done something a little bit more out there. All in all, not terrible, not amazing, but solid looking helmet. Next up's the Jets. So this one, you know, Jets have a lot longer history than the Carolina Panthers. They could have done a lot with this. I know a lot of people in the fan base like their retro, or retro logo with kind of the jet on top. Um, a lot of them are not on a big fan of the newer logo and all they did was turn it black. So I think there was really just, you know, a missed opportunity here with pleasing their fan base, with going more of a retro look, which other teams have done, rather than just going from green to black. So, um, Honestly, it's not horrible, it's just black. Um, but again, nothing special. Next up, we got the Saints. And, you know, I do have to give props to the Saints for the creativity of these alternates. They're not a retro. Um, but the middle stripe with the, all the mini, I don't know what it's called, little um, flower thing. It's a little busy for me. Um, I don't love it. And again, it's black. Um, I think they could have gone a little bit more classic with theirs, but again, not terrible. Most of these are, I don't have strong opinions on negatively. Um, so the worst of the list, it's not that I don't like them. It's just that they're not my favorite compared to the other ones. Now these top two, <laughs> I, I really kind of don't like. So Washington Commanders, still getting used to that name. Um, really not a big fan of the black helmets, obviously, like I've said before, um, but unlike the Saints, nah, there's just not much creativity, like I said, um, given this is their second year, I think, as the Washington football team. So there's not really a whole lot of history to go off of in the first place. So what they did was just put a mini W on the front. Um, it just kind of looks awkward, out of place in my opinion. So I don't even know why they did an alternate helmet, j given the fact that they don't really have any history with this logo in the first place. It kind of already is an alternate in my opinion. Um, but hey, they went for it. Not a big fan. The numbers are okay, but yeah, this one kind of missed the mark for me. And La or first on the list for the worst helmets, I'm gonna go with the Chicago Bears. Um, I love the Bears, but this is too much. Um, straight orange from top to bottom for them because they're gonna be wearing the orange alternate jerseys with this helmet. It just, it's too much of orange for me. It's overboard in my opinion. Um, I don't know, I, th I thought it maybe may have been cool to put like the bear, actual bear logo on the helmet. Um, they just kind of went with the same logo as always, same design, just swapped the colors, which is fine, but it's 
it's a little loud for me. I don't know, maybe it'll look better on the field, but not my cup of tea. Okay, so now getting away from the negativity, let's look at the best um, of these new helmets that have released. Coming in at the fifth best, I got the Eagles. Now, again, this is just a black helmet alternate, but the Eagles helmet's just iconic. You got the wings coming out the side. I think it just looks great regardless of the, of the refresh. Um, but the black does look kind of cool. Um, I think they did put some texture in there with some kind of sparkle stuff. Let me see. Yeah, so it does kind of have a little bit of a sparkle to it, which is cool. It's not just a flat black, which is better in my opinion. But yeah, it's gonna look good. It's gonna look solid with whatever they wear with it. Um, it's a clean look, so can't go wrong. Next up, we got the Patriots. As much as I hate to say it, um, these throwbacks are gonna look really good. Um, they got the Patriot pat on the side. Um, and I, <laughs> I think white is just such a clean look as far as helmets go and jerseys. Um, so this is gonna look really nice with the white helmet and the white face mask on it and monochrome look. Um, and they're gonna look really nice in contrast with those red jerseys that they're gonna wear with them. These are gonna look nice. Um, and then that retro logo just kind of tops it all off. I think, I think they killed it with this one. So good job, Patriots. Now, um, next up I have Arizona. Now, I actually had them lower on the list to begin with but the more research I did on this helmet and the more I looked at it, I think these are gonna look really nice. You know, face value, this is just a black helmet um, alternate from what they usually wear. However, upon closer inspection, the Cardinals did put some very subtle red flecks in the black backdrop. Um, so the light is gonna really bring this out, hopefully. Um, when you look at it, the red will start to shine through the black and what's even cooler about this is I guess these are some metal or some mineral that was farmed or that was mined from the Sonoran Desert in Arizona. So I love it when teams kind of incorporate local things that are unique to their area um, into the design. So that's awesome. I think the Cardinals killed it with that one. Um, I do want to see what it looks like under the lights at night. Um, in their preview videos, you do kind of see the light from the cameras or whatever, kind of bring out the red, the red flex that they put in there. Um, so I think it has the potential to look really cool. Number two, we have the Atlanta Falcons. Yeah, these are really close second place. Honestly, the more I look at them, the more I like it. Um, that's a nice red helmet. They got the retro Falcon logo, which is awesome. It's iconic. And then that black, white, and gold stripe in the middle. I think that looks so good. Um, really, there's not much to say bad about this helmet. I think it all comes together really nice. Paired with black jerseys, it looks like they're gonna be wearing with them. These, these are one of the cleanest of the bunch, in my opinion. I really like these Falcons jerseys. And then number one on my list, the New York Giants. Now, I know a lot of people might disagree with me. Yeah. Yeah, the New York Giants, I really think actually killed it with this retro look. Um, just the white, lo the white logo with the royal blue, not royal blue, navy blue helmet and the red stripe down the middle. It's just a classic look for the Giants and then they have the retro jerseys to go along with it with the white face mask. These are gonna look really nice. Um, I'm kind of biased towards going retro. Um, we can maybe talk about that in another, another video with the simplification and modernization of all the, all the logos nowadays and if that's good or bad, but I think the Giants have a really nice look um, that they're bringing back here and it's gonna be one of my favorites. Um, so I know there was a couple left out that I really just didn't have a strong opinion on either way. There's the Cowboys that just have the white helmet with the blue star, I think it's a retro look for them. And then uh, the Bengals. 
the bangles is cool. Uh, it's just kind of going the Siberian tiger look, with the white and uh, the black stripes, which it, I think it's, it, it could be cool. I just don't really have an opinion on it. Um, I know a lot of people are comparing it to zebra print. We'll see how that comes out um, when they play in them. But honestly, I think it's awesome that the NFL is allowing these teams to kind of be more creative. You know, NFL, no fun league. That's what their reputation has been lately. Um, so I'm really excited to see what teams are going to be doing in the future. Um, we'll see if any new teams come out with, uh, with new logos. Um, but overall, I think it's awesome. So good job, NFL. And uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching. If you liked it, consider hitting the like button. Um, I'm just starting out, so hopefully I can make these videos more entertaining and easier to watch in the future. But thanks for sticking around. See you guys in the next one.